All right, today we've got the new bright rat uh, 500RT. Just like always, I picked this thing up at a I don't know yard sale, Goodwill, wherever, for a couple bucks. And really, I just picked it up because I saw the body. I really liked it. I thought it was really cool looking. So I originally just intended on taking the body off and thought maybe I'd throw it on something else, but. Uh, I got to playing with it, and I actually kind of like it, so let me show you what I did, and um, I think you might agree with me. So this is kind of one of those, uh, I guess what you'd call a utility, sport utility vehicle kind of thing, over glorified golf um, cart or uh, four wheel or quad, however you want to say it. Uh, it's got spot for four seats, little steering wheel in there. Uh, it's got this really cool roll cage all around it and a uh, spare tire carrier in the back. Um, it's two-wheel drive, of course. So what I did was I stripped almost everything out of here. Let me open this up and show you. Um, I have a, for the steering, Traxxas 2056 waterproof servo. And I'll just kind of show you the linkage here, if I can get the focus in. I left all the original steering um, there. I took the original servo out that it had and hooked up a very simple linkage. It works really well. Uh, I did have to modify a little bit, and I doubt I can focus on this to show you on this front knuckle down here. This thing had no turning radius whatsoever. So I had to kind of shave it a little bit and trim it so it would get a lot more of a turning radius. And you can see now it, uh, it's pretty good now, so um, it works well. I did leave the original motor here in the back. This thing is not built for speed from the factory, so I'm not really going to have it do something that's um, to go much faster than it would originally. So I'm leaving that in there. Um, for the ESC, you can see here I went with the Traxxas XL5, which is waterproof. I know it's overkill for this, uh, for this, but I had it laying around, so that's what I'm using. Um, underneath this bundle here, this wiring bundle, I have the receiver, which is going to a Latrax 2.4 gig powered by Traxxas. Um, all the Latrax have something similar to this. Um, I bought it. Why? Because it's fairly inexpensive and I got it on eBay. As a matter of fact, I bought a couple of them for these, just these type of projects. I don't need anything real fancy. But then again, I wanted something somewhat modern that didn't have the antenna getting in the way. So that's uh, what I happened to go with this time. And that's about it. You can see here that I have a servo extension. This is for lights. I'm waiting on my light kit. Uh, you can check out some of my other videos if you like. I'll kind of show you. I run all, all these cheap RCs. I run pretty much the same light kit. So um, check out one of my other videos and you'll be able to see that. Front bumper. Uh, I'd really rather yank it off because it looks ridiculous on here. Especially when this is um, sitting. Front bumper. It just looks ridiculous. But, you know, my kids are playing with these a lot. And beating them, banging them, whatever, and a little extra protection up front, you know, that's probably a good thing, so. Um, that's about it as far as the design goes. I did have to trim out some of the body up front for the tire, so they would tuck up underneath the body a little bit. You can see I had to cut the some of the frame. This uh, originally came across and, and down. Uh, I had to cut all that out so that it would have any kind of a turning radius. So that is what I did. Um, as far as speed, you, i got to give a shout out to rcmania.com. Whenever I buy one of these, one of the first things I do is I go to um, his page and watch his reviews on the stock version of these RCs. Um, and they're really good. I really like watching them and I enjoy that. And when I first saw this video, I thought, man, I'm just going to take the body, strip everything else, throw it away. Um, but, you know, I got playing with it, and I realized this is actually what this RC needed. It's a lot faster now. 
it has a lot better turning radius it has a lot better radio reception so it's actually quite fun I'm gonna get a um, running video of this up soon so you can kind of check it out I think you'll agree with me that uh, that's just what this thing needed so um, I'm gonna get the light kit on soon as soon as it comes in I'll throw it on but uh, more than likely I'm gonna put two white lights right up here somewhere and then I'm gonna put two red brake lights or tail lights somewhere here in the back most likely they'll be here and here so uh, that's what that'll be and if you have any questions you know leave them below like comment subscribe and thanks for stopping by have a great day one more quick comment uh, kind of want to show you the battery situation how I got that worked out so let me show you this this RC was originally intended on holding I believe it was five AA batteries down here in the bottom uh, I had this uh, little door that slid right in for your batteries what I did is this is what I'm using I use this on all of my smaller RC's it is a Hobbymate 1300 Ma. it is two cell LiPo uh, 20C is the rating on that for discharge so 1300 ma, two cell lipo, 20C discharge. So these are pretty thin. I specifically bought these because they're about the same width as a AA battery uh, and they're much smaller. For instance, here are five AA batteries I just happen to have laying around. So five AA batteries, it's about the same width and it's narrower, which is great because I need room for all these crazy wires. Now I probably should just, um, shrink these wires up, but for different RCs I have, uh, I kind of need the length. So kind of depends on what I'm doing, um, but I throw them in here and when I pack them in there um, and, and hook it all up, there's barely enough room, but I can actually put those in there and still ma manage to put that on there. So it, that's pretty much stock as far as how it looks and that works. Now if I wanted to I could uh, wire it up through here and I could strap the battery in the back or up front or whatever but that kind of ruins the look and I, I kind of to kind of like it looking stock at least from the, the top so uh, that's what I decided to do with that. If you have any questions uh, just uh, ask and I'll try to help you out. Thanks.